What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our August 29th fishing report for the Jersey Shore. I cannot believe that Labor Day is on Monday. That is insane to me. Uh, but hey, don't forget, we have our August largest loot contest is still going on. You still have, I think, a day or two left to, to get entered in this. Uh, there might be an interesting mix up at the top. We will have to get into that <laughs> a little bit later. But our current leader for the moment, it still stands, is Alan. Uh, well, this 27 and a half inch. Remember the rules for the contest. In order to be entered, you had to send us a picture of your fluke caught in the state of Jersey. Uh, I mean, obviously, it has to be current. Don't let that be the mention. But you got to come to us, email, Instagram, Facebook, text, text message, whatever. And it has to have a picture of the fish next or on top of or a tape measure on top of. The tape measure has to be visible and the fish has to be sitting on top of it visible. So we can actually judge, hey, that actually is that size. Um, we are currently, like I said, under- You'll see why we're making a big deal about this in just yeah, a few minutes. Yeah, we're, we're trying <laughs> to make these rules pretty simple, you know? Uh, but it still seems to be difficult to get these followed. But anyway, but that being said, we got some... Uh, some All right, we notes. have uh, American Anglers sent in a report from their first annual casting with a cop tournament in Barnegat Township. Uh, went very well. 75 kids showed up to, to fish with uh, local officers and the American Angler volunteers were there to help cheer on the kids. There's a lot of, a lot of fish caught, a lot of spot and sea robins, I was told. Looks like a, a great event and um, I'm excited to see how this grows in the future. So. Yeah, for sure. That's, I mean, I, I, like we said last week, I think that's an awesome idea. Yeah, Eric sure. Angler, great job for putting on. Brandy, thanks for sending that in. Carl, appreciate it, guys. Uh, and with that being said, that's all our information, right? That's it. You can start. All right, I'll start. Yeah. I, we actually discussed this part. I'll start. <laughs> I got uh, I got Tommy Venom and the Mystic Isle Misfits absolutely crushed the fluke in the Great Bay, catching eight keepers uh, and several shorts. I'd say the bay is alive and well again. Uh, Jamie Grant was able to land this nice 21-incher while fishing the Garden State North Reef. She was using 5-inch nuclear chicken gulp. Renato Mole was fishing the Raritan Bay when he was able to land this nice 21-incher. Apparently, that's common size with these fluke here these, these days. Uh, he also had several shorts, skates, and a dogfish. He was using pink shine gulp. And I got to say, Ronaldo, I love the hat. Great taste there, buddy. Uh, then finally, I have Carl Chen, who was out with Jared Lang, Patrick Dohill, and Bill Grant. They went out uh, to the tuna grounds. They trolled for three hours with no luck. Uh, then they started jigging, hooked into one fish, but it cut the line before they could bring it in. Then they headed back to some local wrecks uh, and landed tons of short fluke and three keepers, two at 20, one at 18. And they were all caught in a white gulp. But hey, just a quick uh, promo here. Listen, if you guys want a nice hat like Ronaldo's got, you can easily go below or up here in the corner, click into our store, and you can buy yourself one. Nice looking hat. I, uh, and obviously, you know, proceeds go to yours <laughs> truly. So <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah. yeah we yeah, get all the money. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I got David Minnick. He was surf fishing near the Barnegat Light. He was able to land 18 shorts, but on his last cast, uh, he landed this 13 pound striper on the chartreuse teaser on his fluke rig. So huh. not a bad way to end yeah. uh, in the day. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, in a, in a little early this day. Yeah. yeah. All right, I got George uh, Goldlap. He was fishing local reef sites outside of Little Egg Inlet using a single jig with a six inch gulp. Uh, six inch, yeah, gulp. Uh, land this monster, twenty eight inch, nine point two pound fluke. So this is the one that's a little controversial. We did not get a picture with the measurement. So right now, Alan is still in the lead with this tw- with his uh, twenty seven and a half inch. Uh, George, you've got to get a picture of the measurement. As I say, do we like put this up to a vote or something? Know, the problem is we do have a picture of what looks like the official leaderboard, which we shows do. 28 inches. So for now, this uh, this this fish is still under official review. So maybe next week, uh, unless we get a really big fish. I will say, George is trying to make me eat my words, because I said last week that the 27 and a half inch would not I be know, beat. Tried, I mean, it yeah. technically kind of was, but not officially. Not officially. So I, you know, I'm still not eating them yet, but... I don't know. Hey, drop a comment below. What do you think? We or should somebody do? catch a or, twenty-eight hey, listen, and a half inch. That's right. Put this whole dispute well, behind us. You've got two days, one day, whatever. <laughs> Get so, it done. Yeah, <laughs> somebody helps out. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next I have Chris Devito uh, said the fluke are still in the back bays. Here's his son Salvatore with a nineteen-inch fluke he caught on a bougie six-inch grub. Uh, Chris also said the bullfish are starting to show up. Uh, in the base, so that's fun. We always enjoy blow fishing. Yeah. And Captain Andy with rip tie bait and tackle shared this report from Chuck, who's been fishing structure in sixty feet of water using salmon strips and spearing. Said they landed a three man limit, so it sounds like a good day on the water. Guys, thanks so much for sending in all the reports. Continue to do that. And maybe we can get somebody to get a big fluke in the next two days. So <laughs> take uh, home that hat and that sticker. <laughs> that's right. So guys, uh, send us your reports and uh, good luck on the water. Happy Labor Day. See you next week.